Hello, this is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. Thanks for coming to my video today. Today we're going to change out a dishwasher. I'm going to show you how to do that in a safe manner and make sure that you don't have any leaks. Now always you have to make sure when you're working with electric, anything electrical, electrical appliances, power tools, anything like this, when you're actually working on them, you've got to uh, turn the power off. Whether that's at a switch on the wall, or unplugging the, the, the uh, item, or even going to the box. And that's what we're going to do on this particular one, because we're going to have to change out not only the uh, water lines and the drain line, but also the electrical. So what you do, just go in here and look on the panel. Now if it's not done, you've got to uh, go turn it on and then come back here uh, either listening for uh, that uh, dishwasher to turn off um, or uh, have someone to uh, stand there uh, or you know any other way there's lots of ways to do that maybe I'll just do a video on that one day but what we do is just go over here and turn this off that's the power and what I do uh, I'm the only one here uh, in the home right now uh, that's working and so uh, what I'm going to do is just close this door and uh, if there's anybody else in the house what you can do is just say hey I've got the power turned off to the dishwasher or whatever that is and uh, please do not go into the box so it's pretty pretty simple and so uh, there's other ways to do this but that's probably the most practical way so just make sure everybody in the house knows that you don't touch the switch you don't go to the box uh, because somebody's going to get hurt now the first thing you're wanting to do here is take a, a cordless drill and make sure that you have a Phillips bit to it and we're going to open this up and on most models if you have a wood any type of wood trim here they're going to have um, some sort of connectors or stabilizers here at the top. So what you're going to do is just uh, take your screwdriver and go up in here, make sure it's on remove, and then just do that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here first. Now, once this is um, disconnected itself, so it's a good idea to just go ahead and lock it up. It's got a locking mechanism and then go ahead and pull everything out. Uh, you want to do this slowly and carefully. The reason is because remember you have three things happening. You have the drain line, you have the water supply line, and you also have the electrical line. So no telling how uh, short that is. Hopefully it's not short at all. There's no kinks or anything like this. It's a good idea to go ahead and open up underneath the sink here and um, take a look to see if there's any thing that the cords are wrapped around um, and then you're ready to go. Okay there are going to be some times when you can't pull the dishwasher out and um, this was one of those cases um, I couldn't pull it out immediately because all the all the hoses and everything are way short and it looks like they were installed after uh, the dishwasher was done so there is a water line right here and um, this is the, the water supply line and so what I'm going to do here, just take an ordinary uh, pair of pliers and um, get a hold of the end of this. Let's see, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me see if I can just hold the camera and do it that way. Let's see here. There you are. Now with this shot, I'm just going to go ahead and take this and work the pliers all the way until I get a disconnect. And then just by hand disconnect this. By the way, it's always good to make sure that you did your, did your preliminary work, which was to disconnect the water line. Otherwise, somebody's going to get all soaking wet. So. Um, that's what I did earlier is just turn the water supply line off to ensure that I wouldn't get wet underneath here.
Now, what I cannot emphasize enough to you uh, when you're doing this, any kind of work, whether you're a handyman, a contractor, or a do-it-yourselfer, some things you've got to really uh, be mindful of is even though I've turned the electricity off at the panel, I'm still going to check to make sure that um, that particular uh, unit is off and there's absolutely no way that I can get shocked. Now, when working with electricity, I just want to re-emphasize, um, even though you've gone to the panel and turned everything off, it's always good to do a test. And uh, one way to do that test is uh, to use an um, electrical tester. And uh, what you do on this particular one is uh, just, this is the off position. You want to go ahead and turn this to the 200 volt. And there's one that says 600. Don't do it on that one because uh, it won't register at all. So uh, what I'm going to do here is take these two electrodes and uh, just touching the plastic part only uh, with your hands, you're going to touch the ends of the wire with this and get a reading. So let me show you how to do that now. Okay, as you can see again, I've got um, the tester put to 200 and I've got the red in the, what they call the V here, that's for voltage and I got the black and the common. So make sure that you have those two in there, like so. Not in the ohms and not in the uh, A for amperage or anything like that, so you want it on voltage. Now, what I'm gonna do is carefully, carefully, let me see, I'm gonna do this here where you can see, I'm gonna touch the red to the white and the black, and you see I have no voltage at all. If it was on, uh, it would definitely uh, be, uh, uh, it would show like 118, 119, or even higher. So uh, this is off, in the off position, and there's no voltage uh, going to this unit whatsoever. So now it's safe to work with. Okay, so now what we're going to do uh, is because the, this, this, uh, this has a new floor, installed and um, I couldn't get it up originally so what I'm going to do is just pick up on a little bit tilt it forward get it past the lip then lift up on it and then it'll come straight on out so again uh, pull up on it as much as you can to get it past the facing where it misses the lip here um, tilt it forward and then lift up toward yourself and that's how this comes out there now just as a side note here uh, when you're pulling this out, this kitchen has a beautiful hardwood floor and I don't want to scratch it at all. So what I did was, as soon as I could, I just lifted this up as best as I could and then put a towel underneath it because that way now it scoots out uh, really, really easy. And uh, I don't have to worry about uh, any uh, scratches or anything there. So now what I have is... Um, have one more connection to make or disconnection to make if you will and we're going to take a look at that next okay as you can see here I've got the um, expulsion tube or the drain line and uh, it's got a screw on it right here so I'm gonna to have to disconnect this and it's on a band so then just pull this directly off and then we're set free okay now that we've disconnected and totally uh, got the dishwasher out of the way. We're going to go ahead and move that and then move on to the next procedure, which is uh, installing the dishwasher. This is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos, and you'll see a link below. Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.